Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to use the Wake on One feature with Ubuntu 2404 server version, which I have installed on this Fujitsu Fin client PC. The Wake on One feature allows you to turn on the computer remotely from another computer within the same network. The Wake on One feature is hardware specific. Not all computers support it. So we have to make sure that our computer supports it and we also need to enable it in the BIOS. Before we start, let me remind you that Wake on LAN is a hardware specific feature, so not all computers support it. And even when they do, different vendors use different BIOS or UFI layouts, so menu names and locations may vary from system to system. The following instructions apply specifically to the Fujitsu Futro S920 that I have and might look a bit different on other personal computers. So, to enable Wake on LAN on my Fujitsu Futro S920, I powered it on and hit F2 during the startup when I saw the Fujitsu logo. This way I entered the BIOS setup, then I navigated to the power menu and I made sure that the option code low power soft off is disabled, since enabling it can prevent the system from responding to wake signals when powered off. From there, I entered Wake Up Resources and I enabled LAN local area network to allow the network interface to wake the system when a wake on LAN is performed from another computer in the same network. I set up wake on LAN boot to boot sequence. This way the machine performs a normal boot after receiving the network packet for wake on LAN. Once all these settings were in place, I've hit F4 to save the changes and exit the BIOS. After this, the hardware side of Wake on LAN is configured, though you should still ensure that the operating system and the network adapter settings also have Wake Up on LAN enabled for everything to work properly. You're gonna see how we're gonna achieve this in the next step. Although we have already enabled the Wake on One feature in the BIOS, Linux may disable it on boot. So in order to ensure that Wake on One is always enabled, I'm going to create a system disk service that always runs at startup of the computer and ensures that Wake on One is actually enabled. If you have watched my previous videos, you know that I'm an open source enthusiast and I'm a Linux user. So, on this Fujitsu, I have installed Ubuntu 24.04 LTS server version of the distribution. The network interface is enumerated as ENP1S0. However, on your machine, it could be a different name for the interface. So, please check it before applying the commands that you see here. All the commands that you see are also available in the description of the video. So, with minor adjustments to enter your interface name, uh, you can copy and paste these commands. First, I run sudo eth following the uh, name of the network interface. This is a simply a diagnostic steps that shows the current settings of the network interface, including whether the wake on LAN is enabled or disabled. In my case, it is enabled, but it might be disabled. In this case, you're gonna see the letter D. If it is disabled, run the following command, which I actually executed anyway. It is again eth2 with four arguments. The first argument is dash s followed by the name of the network interface. The third argument is wol, wake on one. And the fourth argument is g. This explicitly enables the wake on LAN in g mode, meaning the interface will wake the machine when it receives a magic packet, but this settings is temporary and will be lost after reboot, which is why the next step exists and we're gonna create a system this service that always runs on boot to ensure that uh, the wake on LAN feature is enabled. Use your favorite text editor, in my case I'm using Vim, to create the file slash atc slash systemd slash system slash wol.service. 
System D is the Linux system and service manager responsible for booting the system, starting and supervising services, as well as managing system states. Ubuntu starting using System D in Ubuntu 15.04, or in other words, in 2015. I have to admit that systemd is a very controversial topic among Linux users. I personally like it, but there are a lot of people that really hate systemd due to various different reasons, which we will not discuss in this video. However, nowadays, most of the popular Linux distributions actually use systemd, so it is widely used. As you can see on the screen, using Vim, I created a unit section of our new system this service, which describes the service and ensures it runs after the network stack is initialized. After that, I created a service section that defines it as a one-shot action that executes ETH2. Um, actually, it executes the same command that I've executed manually to ensure that the wake on one is uh, enabled. Finally, I created an install section which tells the systemd that this service should be part of the normal multi-user startup. After saving the file, I've run system control daemon reload which forces systemd to reread its configuration so it becomes aware of the new service that I've created. After that, I've typed in system control enable wol.service which registers the service to run automatically on every boot. Just to make sure that it's running, I've also executed system control start wol.service, which runs the service immediately, and I don't need to reboot the system to activate it as part of the boot sequence. Keep in mind that all these commands have to be executed with root privileges, therefore I'm using the sudo command with my user within the Ubuntu 2404, which I had uh, installed on this uh, Fujitsu Futuro S920 uh, PC. I didn't explicitly mention it at the beginning, but I uh, logged in remotely to the Fujitsu computer over SSH, and now after I had everything set up, I powered it off, and from the other computer, which is also running Ubuntu, I can execute wake on LAN command followed by the MAC address to turn on the Fujitsu remotely. But hold on for a moment, let me show you how this works properly from another point of view. It's show time. Let me demonstrate you how I can turn on remotely this Fujitsu Fin clan from another computer in my local area network. Okay, so this is the setup on my desk. On the left, you see the Fujitsu computer. I have connected a mechanical keyboard to it and a monitor over the display port. And on the right, you see my laptop. Uh, I'm going to wake up the Fujitsu computer by executing a command from my laptop. If you paid close attention to the previous section of the video, you already know the command. This is wake on one. However, if it's not installed on your system, you can install it with sudo apt install wake on one. This is valid for all uh, Debian derivative distributions, including Ubuntu, which I'm using. In the terminal, execute wake on LAN and provide the MAC address of the PC that you would like to turn on remotely as an argument. Remembering a MAC address is a little bit challenging, but I'm well prepared for this demonstration and I know the MAC address of the network interface of the Fujitsu computer that I'm going to wake up remotely for the demonstration in this video. The text output of the command as a result will be sending magic packet to the specified MAC address and the other result is that actually the computer will turn on. You can see how the Fujitsu computer, which is positioned on the left, turned on. Uh, I had attached a monitor to it on purpose. You can see the boot sequence. This is the regular boot sequence, just as we uh, configured it in the BIOS during the very first chapter of the video. Wake on LAN is often just a convenient way to keep a computer powered off most of the time and still bring it up when it's needed, even if you are not near it. For Linux users, this could be useful for uh, home servers or uh, remote labs, and after that you can just SSH into the computer, start a few containers, run a backup, grab some files from uh, network attached storage, or whatever you have in mind. The advantage of the wake on one feature 
is obvious. With it, you can either turn on or awaken a computer that's sleeping in your network and you can do it remotely without having physical access to the computer. The Wake On One feature is amazing and it's very useful, however, you should be aware of some disadvantages. First of all, Wake On One consumes more energy because this way your computer has to be always listening for incoming network packages that might turn on the computer. The second disadvantage is that Wake On One is a hardware specific feature, so not all computers are supporting it. So to summarize this Wake On One video, which is specifically focused on Ubuntu, initially I've enabled uh, Wake On One in the BIOS slash UFI. After that, I created a system this service which runs at every boot and ensures from the software side that indeed the Wake On One um, feature is enabled. After that, I used Wake On One command from another PC within the same uh, local area network and I've remotely turned on the Fujitsu computer based on its MAC address. I kindly remind that all the exact commands and all the steps are available in the description of the video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wake on One is really useful feature and now you know how to enable it on Ubuntu. The demonstration was with this particular computer, but the same can be applied to other PCs that support Wake on One. Furthermore, you can apply the same steps on other Linux distributions that are using systemd. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you find it useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos. Hope to see you soon.